Oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't know your parents lived in Georgia. Had you told me that? I, yeah. I remember you telling me, Lant, about, yeah, your parents. I specifically remember your dad. I've heard lots of fun things about your dad. <laughs> so I totally get, I totally get why you would say that. Leia, I'm surprised you're awake right now. It's pretty late for you, but thanks for being here. And I'm sorry about starting so late again. It's just last night, last night I was like in a world of pain and I just could not fall asleep for the life of me. Like no matter how much I tried, I had one of those like heating packs. Um, what are they called? I think they're just heating pads. Heating mat? I think it's just a heating pad. I always called it a heating pad. I don't know if it has a specific name, but it's basically just like uh, about this big. At least mine is about this big, uh, like that. And you can either put it on your back, your arm, your stomach, wherever is like aching. So I just like uh, laid in bed with my heating pad and tried to fall asleep for like hours. I think I finally fell asleep around 2, 2.30 a.m., something like that. Um, Oh, I used to live with a close fam family friend. Okay, okay. Oh, I like that you start late, Lil. Well, my goal is to start earlier. Like 10 a.m. Would probably be my goal. 10 a.m., like wake up at 8 a.m., start around 10 a.m., and then stream until like a couple hours from now. So early morning, afternoon-ish would be best. That's the goal. Um, yeah, he is. Yeah, not too good. Mom's okay. Yeah, I heard. I heard pretty good stuff from you about your mom. Yeah. Other than, well, no, no it's not even bad. But like the collector of things, because I remember we both said like our our moms were that way, where they were like a collector of stuff, which I feel like is just kind of a mom thing. You know, like you have kids and you start collecting their stuff. And then I think it just kind of happens from there. I think that's just how it works with moms. We tend to fight a lot. Yeah, my mom and I too, because we're very, very similar. So we tend to clash. Um, if I live with her for a long period of time, same, exact same, exact same. Uh, it's almost 2 a.m. I've been up pretty late lately. It works well for me. Fair enough then. I love it. I love you being here. <laughs> I love having you here. So, um, yeah, if the NA time works for you, it works for me. Um, oh, and I love your recommendation. Well, it wasn't even rec a really a recommendation. It was just uh, in the self promo channel, but I loved meeting him. I thought he was so cool. How did you find him? Were you just like under the Overwatch tab or something? I love meeting like chill new people and he was really, really cool. Oh, his name's Jamie. I haven't, I have not met a Jamie in a really long time. These sleeves are kind of a nuisance. When I was getting ready for stream, before stream, I was so scared to touch anything because these sleeves are just like, so extra and it's like I don't want them to touch anything because it's white so I was like scared to do anything or make coffee or touch anything so I'm like <sighs> I was really really scared to like touch touch anything or like get it into something maybe it was super sketchy um I got the night shift uh so I'm here the entire time wait so your night shift would be, let me see what time it is for you. It's probably like two a, around 2 a.m. for you, right, Jules? Oh, so you're gonna be like afternoon time for me. Yeah, you'll be afternoon. If this is your night shift, this will be afternoon for me. 
Uh, she's not full on hoarder, thank God. Same with mine. Uh, but she has a lot of stuff, same. Yeah, yeah. They're, they were having a garage sale before I left and I really wanted to stay for it because I freaking love garage sales and I wanted to like help them get ready for the garage sale. I definitely think though, uh, we probably would have argued a couple times if I helped her with the garage sale, for sure. Because I'd be like, just get rid of it. You don't need this. And then she would be like, yeah, I do. <laughs> and that's how they always start. I'm like, get rid of it. You don't need it. And she's like, yeah, it's my shit. <laughs> I'm like, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. It is your shit. <laughs> uh, I found him by accident. Oh, wait, wait, you don't remember when I would lag so bad? No, I remember you lagging so bad at your old place. Um... But I didn't know that it was a close family friend. I, I thought they became a family friend as you lived there. Like at first, uh, I just knew of them as like a family you were staying with and that the internet sucked because they all used it and watched movies or something on it. And um, I thought they became close over time of you just living there. But they started out as just like a family you were staying with. Uh, he is live right now as well. I've been chilling there. Yeah, he he's really chill. I feel like he makes uh he makes watching Overwatch fun, and I I think that's really important as a content creator is to um obviously make the game that you're playing fun. Sorry, my hair is um really annoying. <laughs> um. So how did you find it by accident? I'm so curious because I'm always curious how you find like such cool chill people. Like he's not the first that you've linked and that I've checked out and that I've liked. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. And it's almost 1 a.m. Oh, okay. So if it's, let's see. Two to one. Oh, shoot. Hold on. 2 to 1, 1 to 12, 12 to 11, 11 to 10. So four hours from now for me, 4 to 3, 3 to 2, 2 to 1, 1 to 12. Oh, that's a really good time. That is a really good time. Yeah, that's exactly when I'm thinking of streaming jewels. So I'll probably be live for your whole night shift. Yeah, I'll probably, because I plan to go live no later, well, the goal, no later than 12 p.m. for me, which is when you would start your night shift, 12 p.m. for me, uh, 10, no, 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 yeah, I think it's 12 p.m. for me and 10 p.m. for you, or no, 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 6, 10 p.m. for you, 10 to 11, oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. 10 to, 10 to 9, 9 to 8, 8 to 7, 7 to 6. Oh, I did it wrong. So it would be 6 p.m. for you. I think when I would start. Okay, so maybe not your whole night shift, but it would be like half-ish of your night shift. It would be half-ish of your night shift. Because I would start probably four hours earlier than you start. Um, oh, it's only, wait, it's only almost 1 a.m. for you. Oh, so you're an hour earlier than Lant, because I think for Lant, it's closer to two. I have a Finland clock, so I can kind of gauge what time it is for you guys. And then I have a facey face o'clock, which it's like 12 a.m. for her. Um, I knew them for years. And they took me in a few years ago and now I'm back. Oh. So do you have, no, 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 they fixed their internet, right? You you helped uh, pay and like upgraded their internet package, right? I think I remember you telling me that um, because your internet was so bad. You're like, I will, I will help pay for a better internet. Uh, me and my siblings are trying to convince her to get rid of, uh, to get rid of the house she's non cheap to keep up with the house and the yard oh i remember you showing me pictures it's so beautiful though i love her yard i love her backyard and her plants if they're still there <laughs> 
but uh, she just doesn't want to give it up. I completely understand because um, she had loans, etc. on it and a lot of space for guests if me and my sister visit. Yep. My mom's the same way. And I get it because like one, you're giving up something that you're used to. That is your comfort um, and a, maybe even a piece of your independence you feel like. Because I know that's how it is for my mom and my grandma. Like, you're giving up your home. Something that you worked for, that you love, that you feel comfortable in. Um, and a piece of your independence. Like, for my grandma having to move in, she was, like, having to give up a lot of all of her independence, she felt like. You know, all of her friends. Uh, the store she's used to going to, her home her way of living her cleanliness like it's all different her quietness it's probably louder at my parents than she's used to so everything is different and then yeah for my mom like she likes having room she's always thinking ahead like what if something happens and my kids need to move back in for whatever reason or what if they get divorced or not saying she thinks that way just she plans like that's just a mom thing like she just plans like what if there's a divorce a breakup um what if they lose a house i need enough room for their family to stay here what if they just want to get away so she wants to have the extra room just in case anything happens <laughs> and that's also why she keeps a lot of things because she's like what if what if I just browse stuff. Um, I usually go to some game category I like, click the lowest viewers, and just start going through them till I find, uh, till I, sorry, it's harder to read because I'm not wearing my glasses because I don't want to scuff my scuffed cosplay even more. So, like, I can read fine. It's just, it takes me a little bit longer because it's not as crisp and clear. Uh, I think I, f okay, wait, uh, until I find something, uh, someone I like, or I just get recommended. I think I found him from the Overwatch tab, though, because it's what he mostly plays. I tend to watch a bit before, uh, recommended people myself, though, because I want to know who I'm, re who's recommended to me. I gotcha. I gotcha. I do the same thing. I check out, uh, who's recommended to me, and actually, sometimes they're really not bad. Like, sometimes I'm like, hmm. And then other times I'm like, oh shit, you find like a little gem. I really enjoyed hanging out in his stream. Um, I definitely think he deserves more, more viewers. Not that viewer count matters at all because I don't even look at mine. I don't give a shit about mine. Um, but I think he deserves more. He's really entertaining. He's really funny. He's really chill. I think he makes Overwatch look really fun, which is kind of hard because a lot of people hate overwatch right now or at least people that play overwatch hate overwatch a little bit at least a little bit a little bit and so to make a game like that fun um that's really cool i had like 400 uh megabits internet there but i would still lag interesting later they realized i <gasps> Oh, I never had a modem. I thought I remembered you helping to pay for the internet. I had a router, but no modem, and that's why I was lagging so bad. Rip. What's up, Mumbo? Welcome in. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alexis. Um, I know, but he's... Uh, but she starts to be in such, but she starts to be in such a bad shape. It's gonna kill her otherwise. Same. I completely understand. And she cannot clean or take care of the house well on her own. My brothers who live close help her out with the, uh, help her, help her, wait. Who live close help out with the yard, or years, and fixing stuff, thank God. But all the rest is just no good. I'm really critical about what I watch. I mean, you should enjoy what you watch. Most times I don't find shit. Same. But every now and then you're like, not bad, Twitch. 
not bad, you know? It was my internet and I shared with them. Oh, oh, that's what it was. Okay, it was your internet, okay. All right, hair. That's better. I'm just trying to keep it out of my eyes because it keeps falling into my eyes and it's really frustrating. Um. Okay, I remember now. It was your internet and you shared with them, okay. I just remembered you paying for it, so I wasn't sure if you were paying for some of it or helping them pay or something like that, but now I have my own and I'm not sharing. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> if you haven't yet known, Hitman on Epic Games is free right now, Mumbo. Thank you so much for uh, sharing that. Hitman on Epic Games is free right now. I'll, I'll download that. Okay, maybe not right now because I'm streaming, but let me write it down. On my Pokemon pad. <laughs> I have a Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon pad. I don't know why. I think it's so fun to say Pokemon, but my mom, like she doesn't know what Pokemon are. So she was like, yeah, he's selling that Pokemon stuff. Um, <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, mom, he's selling Pokemans. <laughs> so now I call it Pokemans. I love it. You selling that Pokemon stuff? Okay, download. Download. Hitman. On Epic. Okay, I wrote it down. Thanks, Mumbo. I'll definitely download that. Whoa! My slight, uh... My slight curly cosplay, it's a little scuffed, but last minute. Look at little being all sparkly. Thanks, Wool. Um, I have 400 megabits per second and not sharing with anyone. Uh, downloaded mine last night. Have you played it, Mumbo? I download Rogue Company and love it, right? I don't know why. I don't know why I like it so much. It's just, it's just chill, but it's not. Maybe it's cause it's like easy to pick up or something, but it's really fun, really fun game. Did you get a key for it, Alexis? Did you end up getting a beta key or did you, uh, did you just buy it? Oh, I'm super trash. Yeah, I'm super trash. But that's why it's fun. Because you still have fun, even though you're super trash at the game. That's why it's fun. That's just how all old people call it. I think it's hilarious, Lant. I think it's so funny, because she has no idea what Pokemon is. So she's just like, yeah, he went to the store to go buy some more Pokemon. <laughs> and I just, I bust up laughing every time I hear my mom say Pokemon. What about the big cards? Uh, have you thought of what you're gonna do with them? Yeah, I'm still gonna give them away, Mumbo. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll save it for birthday stream. And like, you know, just give them away during my birthday stream. Okay, I have to stop ordering eyeshadow. Oh no, eyeshadow is so addicting. The way I do it though, is I just get palettes. So that way I don't just have a bunch of single eyeshadows. Um, just all around. I have like palettes all around. <laughs> but at least they're harder to lose, you know, because they're giant and they come with a lot. <laughs> that hungry, hungry Pokemans. <laughs> Instead of hungry, hungry hippo. D damn them. Hungry Pokemans. Aw, uh, thanks, Wool. Yeah, super last minute, but I mean, not bad. Not bad. I didn't have, you know, like anything extravagant like her freaking beautiful gown. But I had a shirt that had like semi the same sleeves. So I was like, yeah, this this will work. Um, I've played it and I lost all my progress in the middle of a mission. So I had to restart. 
dart no rip is it at least fun is it at least fun enough to like restart and play through poke a man <laughs> what kind of game these kids playing sounds dirty oh i gave you the drop oh <gasps> yes wait Wait, was it through watching me, Alexis? Or did someone uh, give you the key in chat? I don't remember. Because I had two people come into my chat and just give away keys, which was pretty sick. They were like, hey, I have an extra key and just gave it to my community members, which was really dope. At least the old English speaking people. Yeah, I think it's really cute though, Lant. I think it's really cute. <gasps> I ordered eight pallets. Yes. Eyeshadow. Yes! Oh my god, Julie. Have fun. Makeup's fun. Jeffree Star is really good. Yeah, they're harder to lose. Yeah. Because, okay, so eyeshadow you can buy in the singles, which are just little, usually little circles like this. They're just tiny little circles. Um, so they kind of get misplaced and they're just like all around and for me, I think they're a nuisance But if you get like a makeup palette, they're usually like about This or they could be even like Massive so much harder to lose and they come with tons inside. So it's just easier and then you could replace them um, Usually so Oh, it's so much fun sweet Oh, <gasps> you got it from watching me. Yes Yes! Oh, that's sick, Alexis. Oh, that's so sick. We got to play. Did you you got it on PC, right? I assume you were watching on PC, so you got it on PC. I think it does drop for uh PC Switch, Xbox, and PS4. So pretty much all all the consoles. I don't think I'm missing any. PS4, Xbox, Switch, and PC. Sweet. Damn, I got codes for all consoles. I was playing it a few days ago. Okay, you will have to add me and we gotta play because we haven't played a shooter together since like Fortnite. No, 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 Overwatch, we played Overwatch. But we haven't, we haven't, I haven't played Overwatch in ages. So yeah, we, we played Overwatch together. Um. I've been missing your streams. Curses for being in different time zones. Wolf, I, I'm i planning to start earlier. So you should be able to catch me. It's just today was uh, a later stream just because last night I was having really bad cramps so I couldn't sleep. I didn't, I didn't end up falling asleep until like two or 3 a.m. So I ended up starting much later than I wanted to today. But my goal is, um, my goal is to start at like 10 a.m. my time and no later than 12 p.m. so afternoon, but 10 a.m. my time. Uh, you Are you on the same time as Julie or Lant? Because Julie's an hour ahead of Lant. And for Lant right now, it's 2.08 a.m. Uh, but yeah, I should be starting a lot earlier. So EU friendly times is my point. EU friendly times. Okay, 1 a.m. Even better. Okay, so if it's 1 a.m. for you, um, let me see, four to three, three to two, two to one, one to 12, 12 to 11, 11 to 10. So I, my goal is to start four to six hours earlier than now whatever time that would be for you. Four to six hours earlier from what time it is now. Yeah, early, yeah. Yeah, so you should be able to catch my streams. It'll be EU friendly and then I'll stream into my afternoon so it'll be also PST friendly. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's my goal. That is my goal. It's just last night was a, was a bad night because yeah, I just couldn't fall asleep and I wasn't feeling very well. Uh, obsess and welcome in. Um, 
This is a blessing in disguise. Oh. So basically the own stream schedule. Yeah, but even a little earlier because my old stream schedule was 12 p.m. PST. Uh, so still EU friendly, but I want to try and either wake up at 10 a.m. or start stream at 10 a.m. So I'm either going to be waking up at 10 a.m. or 8 a.m. My time. PTSD. <laughs> Is that a drug? <laughs> no, Alexis, you're thinking of LSD. <laughs> yeah, even earlier. Yeah, so it'll be it'll be super EU friendly, but then also go into PST time. So it'll be uh it'll be night for EU and then um night for EU afternoon for PST. Oh, Mumbo, thank you so much for the 3,000 tacos and the hydrate. I don't have water, but I can get some. Uh, I have coffee, so it is your choice. Shall I hydrate with coffee or shall I go get some water? Water, you got it, my friend. I will be right back, guys. Alrighty, got my water. Cheers. In my, what was once a Pocahontas cup, but I put it in the dishwasher many, 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 too many times. So now it's just uh, what was a Pokemon Pocahontas cup. <sighs> okay, there's your one sip. <laughs> now it looks like stained glass. Yes, this is a, this is a very rare uh, Disney cup. It's a stained glass Pocahontas cup. Um, very rare, very limited. Just the one, which looks cool. Well, thanks. That's a positive way to look at it. Um, okay, but for now, Lil, I'll head to. Or, but for now, I'll head to bed. Always love to see your face. Good night, Wolf. Good night. Sleep well. Thank you for thank you for stopping by. It was good to see you. Um, man, come on here. Stay out of my eyeballs. All right, that should be good. Oh, yeah. There we go. Um, I have PTSD from playing Overwatch with Tiff. So much rage. So I could potentially catch streams even if I was going to bed early. Yes. Yeah, that's the goal. That is exactly the goal. Yep. And that way I'm kind of hitting both schedules because um, since I am a PST, I almost said PTSD. <laughs> since I am a PST streamer, um, I definitely, that's my schedule, you know, like that's just what works for me. So I want to hit that schedule, but because I have so many amazing people in the EU that I want to see and I want to hang out with, um, I'll be able to hit both of those schedules. Um, it's kind of like the exact, well, for one, it's like my OG schedule. And then it's kind of like my late schedule, but just the exact opposite. I was streaming super duper late to hit the EU and PST times. Like PST was like, you know, just late night, but then for EU, it was early, early morning. Um, ah, yes, delay the stream. <laughs> Dang, Mumbo. I appreciate, I appreciate the evilness in you. Give it a spin. You got it. <laughs> so, so. Oh my god, there's almost nothing on this side. I've washed it so many times. 
you can kind of see where he was. He was kissing her. And then this is where Pocahontas was kissing him. <laughs> you gotta sing paint. You gotta sing Colors of the Wind. If I could sing, I would gladly uh, oblige that request. But I can't. So, not trying to deafen everyone. But I would if I could. Damn it, you got me to drink more water by showing you my cool cup. I got more rage from the laggy ass. It's the worst days of my life. Why can't I... Uh, wait. Why can't I screen share? I want to share a game? What do you mean screen share? What do you mean? Uh, the early for us schedule is kind of eh. Like, sure if we, uh, wake up super early, yes. Yeah, um... If we can watch while we work, sure. But otherwise, mornings are always kind of meh. Yeah, before it was really late night for me, uh, for PST. And then it was really early morning for you. Or, yeah, it was early morning for you. Because it was, I was going until like 8 a.m. my time. And it was cool. It was fun. And it worked. But it just, I had to change it up. Like, it just wasn't healthy. And I missed seeing the sun. So... Yeah, I'm going to try and do a healthier schedule for my mental health and just all around uh, better for me. So now it'll be nighttime for you early, well, early night uh, up until late night and early morning. Uh, I hate waking up early. I'll sing it to you. <laughs> Dude, you probably sing better than I do, Alexis. TBH. Oh, in the voice channel. Ah, I see. I see. Like, if I'm in a channel with others, I can show my screen so others can watch my game. Oh, I understand. So you can't do that in Discord? I, I think it is just only voice. It's probably so... I think the only way you can screen share in Discord is to do it through DM or PM, whatever you guys call it. Direct message, private message. I call it PM. I think it makes more sense because it's a private message. I don't, I think, I don't know. DM just doesn't say the same as PM does, but like if I manage, uh, oh wait, 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 in your server. Oh, you can do it in voice chat. Oh, you just need to give permissions for it. Hmm. Every server can enable or disable the screen share feature. I see. Hmm. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll even make a, a voice channel for that. That's a very good idea, Mumbo. I, I will think about it. Let me write it down um, so I don't forget it. That's a, that's a pretty cool idea. Okay, I got it. Yeah, pretty cool idea, thank you. Um, oh, I wanted to ask you guys, if you had a preference, in Discord I, in Discord I posted, um, let's see, in Discord I posted two Lil Fam fonts in like uh, ancient symbols. And I was wondering if you guys had a preference because I want to get them made into stickers and give them out, like send them to you. Um, so this will be like, even if you live in the EU, like it, it won't matter. I can send you a, I can send you a sticker because uh, it shouldn't be too expensive to, I've sent Christmas cards to the EU and it was fine. So um, yeah, I want to buy stickers. I want to be able to send them to anywhere in the world. Um, and I would like your guys' opinion if you have a preference, because I think it's really fun. Uh, 
I think this is a really fun idea to make this into a sticker. Hold on. I'm trying to get both of them in a picture. Where is it? Oh, here we are. Okay. Let me put this on screen. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Um, the top one is just in caps. And then the bottom one is just in lowercase. So that's why they look different. But do you guys have a preference? Because I think it's really a really cool idea and I want to run with it. Um, and get stickers made out of it. And what will be cool, it looks very ancient-y, yeah. So what's going to be cool is you'll know what this means, but nobody else will. It'll be like our Lil Fam secret kind of, you know, like our inside, not inside joke, but just our, our inside knowledge i guess yeah like secret society yeah exactly so i think it'll be really dope because no one's gonna know what this means they're just gonna be like what are these ancient freaking glyphs uh so yeah do you guys like the caps one so if you like the capitals better which is this top one uh press one and if you guys like the lowercase uh press two eu mail costs a fortune I think when I sent the Christmas cards, it was fine. Um, so it'll be like the same kind of idea. It'll be like when I sent the Christmas cards, it'll, I'll send it in an envelope and it'll just be a sticker. Um, I don't even know what this is. Okay, so I'm going to get these made into stickers, Alexis, but these mean Lil Fam. They're signs that mean Lil Fam. One is in capitals. The other is in... Uh, lowercase so i just want to know what you guys like better one or two one or two oh you're right i think i can start a vote actually through twitch hold on there's a poll a thingy to make polls right here add okay i'm gonna do a poll new poll question One caps. Oops. One caps. What the frick? Oh my gosh, I can't type. Okay. One caps or two lowercase. Um, okay, you have one minute to vote. Starting now. One minute. Um, I love that poll feature. That's really nice. And it just does it above chat. It looks so clean. It's really, really nice. Uh, the upper one looks better. Okay, so Lant likes the, Lant likes this one. The uppercase. I... I really liked the uppercase, but I don't know. This one kind of looks cool, too. It's so many different symbols. I don't know. It's tough. That's why I'm asking you guys, because I couldn't decide. It will be uh, a more memorial for when your streams don't start again. Which is sad to say. Um... Okay, so let me see the votes. I think it's over. View results. Please don't be a tie. <laughs> oh, wow. So, caps one. Okay. Let's do caps then. I'll get, I'll get them made. Um, I'll get the sticker made Another for this. Soul. What was that? Yes. Oh, Sean. Sean, thank you for the three months. I appreciate it. Thanks, Sean. I love you. All right. So, Sean, did you vote? Were you one of the people that voted just now? 
Another soul. <laughs> um. The lower one just looks like a ghost and a man running. Oh, I like that land. Running after three tadpoles in a graveyard. Holy shit, that's so cool. See, that's why it's cool. Lant got, from this one, Lant got a ghost and a man running after three tadpoles in a graveyard. That's why it's fucking cool. Because, like, back in ancient times, when they did do symbols, it meant things. Like, well, it meant things. No shit. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, it was symbols that were supposed to kind of explain a story. So, um, that's why it's cool that she got, like, kind of a story out of the symbols. Like, a man running after three tadpoles in a graveyard. That's just really, really cool. Because that's what I want. I want it to be just something, like, really unique, really fun, and something that only my community knows like it's our little secret society like to the outside world they're gonna be like what the hell is that a tadpole but we know we know what it means oh yeah corona never happened where did my music go by the way there we go um all right so this is the one that won I'm going to get stickers made of this, um, and then I will, I will figure out a system. I'll do like a giveaway, and then people will enter, whoever wins, I will send them a sticker. I'm going to come uh, to Sack, and she could sleep in the guest room while I stay. <laughs> yeah, Alexis wants to sleep with you. The second one is a cursed Ulu, ghost, Satan, spider god. <laughs> oh my god, Lant. You're amazing. I love it. I love it. Because I see, I see two tadpoles. Like the first and third letter or symbol are like tadpoles. The middle just kind of looks like skeleton bones. Uh, the fourth symbol kind of looks like a wishbone. To me... Um, and then yeah, like the last one is kind of like either a ghost or a gravestone. So I see it different. I like things that are open to interpretation and people see it differently. I think that's so cool how you're seeing the same image, but everyone sees it differently. Is this Sean Theos? Yeah, uh, Gigi Tones is my little brother. Sorry, I'm still catching up on chat. I apologize. Uh, did I just pay? What the fuck? It said celebrate three months. Yeah, yeah, you're, uh, it, so you've been subscribed for three months in total. Even if it's not back to back, like even if you subscribe and then don't subscribe for like five months and then you come back and subscribe, it'll be your second month. They've changed it to where you don't have to subscribe back to back to keep your time subscribed in the channel. So you've subscribed to me three times, equaling three months. Uh, oh, I just got here. Okay, so you didn't vote. Where's the third one? There's only two. There's only uppercase. And lowercase. Yeah, there's only two. Uppercase and lowercase. I see two. Oh, no, the tadpoles? I see two tadpoles. The first and third letter. Or symbol, sorry, symbol. So the first and, th and third symbol, I see tadpoles. They look like tadpoles to me. Which would be the L. Uh, the uppercase is a cursed uwu. A cursed uwu. I kind of see it maybe with the U's, the first and second, uh, third letter. 
<clears throat> a ghost, okay. Satan. Oh yeah, spider, like the last letter being a spider. The gathering of cryptics. So death fits our community or death gathering of cryptics. So death fits our community better. I like it. Okay, so you're saying this is kind of a effed up uwu. And then what was it? Ghost, Satan, spider. <laughs> I can dig it. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. <laughs> Okay, so maybe what I can do, since some of you like the the uh, lowercase, is I'll start out buying just the the uppercase, which is this one, and then after those, um, after I get rid of all of those, we'll do the lowercase or something like that. So that way we get both. Yeah, it's like a ooh, but the mouth is like some sort of monster mouth. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what it kind of looks like to me? This is going to be dark. This is going to be dark. It kind of looks like it was uwu, but someone took the W, which is the mouth, and like tied it, like bound it. So it's silenced. That's some dark shit. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like an uwu that's been like bound by Satan and the spider and the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Silence monster. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> no uwu for you. That or it could be like two eyes. Well, I guess it would be eyes either way. Yeah, it'd be eyes either way. The Mr. Taco is here. Uh, oh my god. I don't know how to say your name, but... Uh, Mala? Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Um... If I was a caveman, I would rather write the uppercase one. Okay, perfect. We have... Okay, so the uppercase already won. But you just solidified, Sean. That the uppercase one. You just solidified it. All right, we're gonna do the uppercase first. So I'm gonna order those. Um, I already have them made. I just have to. I just have to pay, and have them ordered. But yes, if I was the caveman, I'd rather write the uppercase one. Sweet. That's all I need to know. Hell yeah. Now. Now we just have to find an ancient cave to write this in. So everyone knows of our tribe, the Uwu shut the hell up ghost demon spider. <laughs> the silence, silence the Uwu ghost demon spider. That's what we gotta do. So none of our votes mattered. No, we just did a poll that you guys voted on and this one won. Oh, no worries, Mala. No worries. So none of our votes mattered. We're all bad at English. True, Mumbo. True. Okay, so I will get those ordered. Um, and then the way I'm going to do it uh, the way I'm gonna do this, the stickers is every five subs, resubs count. Um, every five subs, I'll do a giveaway, and then whoever wins that giveaway, I will send a sticker, and that's how we'll do it. Sorry, my hair is. Cool. Especially Lil. Okay, Mumbo, that's kind of toxic. Be a little, be a little toxic. Why is my mom, my, why does my, <laughs> never mind, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, why does my bumbo have to be the worst? <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it. 
Let's play some video games. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> why does... Why does my English have to be the worst? God! Sorry. I meant to say English! <laughs> your soul is mine. Technically, your soul is mine. You're subbed. So when you sub... Um... It's in the really, really fine print if you read it. Um... It basically says when you subscribe... You sell Lil your soul, and, um, that's... Yeah. So, you gotta always read the fine print. Um... Well, you're my mod, Lance, so... That's... You're even worse. Your soul is like... Your soul is... Really mine. It's like you sold it to become... To become a mod. So you're basically... You're basically enforcing... The collection of souls. But I can unmod anytime, but your soul will always be mine. <laughs> I speak Eichenwalden, that's why my English is so bad. True. Don't you know they're hey? Don't you know they're hey? Speak the Icon Volden? Alright. Make a game up. So, uh, we're playing Dear Esther Landmark Edition for the first time. If I can. Uh, if I can. Get the game open. And my soul has been sold years before we even met, so... Mm. Maybe that's why you're such a good mod. <laughs> only the soulless can be... <gasps> only the soulless can be my mod. <laughs> only the soulless can be my mod. <laughs> yes. Welcome to the dark side, Lant. Welcome back to the dark side. I added you on Epic. I think I did. Okay. I'll check after stream. I'll check after stream. All right. Let me figure out why I can't see my game. Um, game capture. Here, Esther. Yes. Let's see here. Hmm. Let's try window capture. Oh, interesting. It's actually not even showing up. Huh. We might have to do display capture, which would be really weird. That would be really weird to have to display capture the game. I wonder why it's not even picking up the game. I tested it before stream to make sure it worked. But it's not walking for some reason. Capture specific window, yep. Yep, this should be it. Hmm. Oh, I'd argue Miko at least has a soul. Rudy also. Hmm. Good point. Point. Why is it not showing up? Damn, so I might actually have to display capture the game. It's going to be weird. Hmm. Let me try and make a new window really quick. Game capture, uh... I'm just gonna name it DE real quick. Uh, specific window... There we go, now it showed up. Interesting.
Ooh, 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 oops. Hmm. Oh. Let's see if it's in the settings. Video. Full screen. Yeah. The shoe beat. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Whatever. It works now. That's so weird. I could be wrong. True. True. Okay, so you guys can see the game just fine, right? That was so weird what I had to do to get that to work. I'm really excited to play this, though. Um, it's It has great, great reviews. Uh, we're not going to do director's commentary, obviously. So we'll just do this. Dear Esther, the morning after I was washed ashore, salt in my ears, sand in my mouth, get comfy, cozy chat. At my ankles, I felt as though everything had conspired to this one last shipwreck. Oh, uh, Lant, can you change the game water, to Dear Esther? In my belly and my shoes, Exclamation mark game space, Dear Esther. The most listless of Pretty please. Swim. Oh my god, Lant. <laughs> So at this point, I would like to point out that the Finnish language, we have a saying, it's raining out of Esther's ass, which means it's pouring rain super hard. <laughs> is this a horror? No, this is, um, what is the word I'm looking for? This is a walkthrough immersive game. I don't think it's a horror. I could be wrong, but it didn't say horror. Anyway, should I turn off my lights for this or dim them? You guys want dimmed lights or should I leave it as is? I'll show you what dim lights look like. I can dim them even more too, if. The beast within, that sounds really scary. <gasps> Are you afraid of the dark? Lil playing horror, you wish. Exactly, Lant. All right, so dimmed lights or uh, do you guys like the lights on? I can also brighten them a little bit. Like I can dim them more or less, lighten them more. You look spoo spoopy, dimmed. Okay, I like it. Sweet. All right, let's get into it. How is the sound as well? Is the sound okay? Well, now I'm kind of scared because you guys... Now I'm kind of scared. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I don't know if that toilet's ever seen a clean day in its life. <coughs> mm. <coughs> I think someone pooped in the sink. <coughs> that's that's nasty. This is where the Rona came from. <laughs> If this is spoopy shit, it's probably similar to Firewatch. Firewatch is, was actually really scary to me because I overthought it a lot. And I actually made it scarier inside my head than it probably was or needed to be. Interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. I wonder what happened here.
We're all about to catch the Rona. Nothing over here. Let's see if I have any... Okay, I don't think I have any buttons or options. I think we just continue. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, pick anything up. Lots of paint. Lots and lots of paint. Oh, I don't know if I should go up to the lighthouse or down here. Wait, I can't tell if those are rocks or if that's paint. Oh, I can zoom in, look. Interesting. Okay. People online are saying it's not scary, but has potentially creepy vibes to some people. Okay, I'm definitely picking up on the creepy vibes a bit. Thank you for the lurk, Mumbo. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up on some creepy vibes. What is this stuff? Hmm. I'm just trying to see if there's a cave or something over here. Okay. Oh my god, I thought that was a body for a second. Thought that was a body. Wait a minute. Is this a cave? There was once talk of a wind farm out here, away from the rage and the intolerance of the masses. The sea, they said, is too rough for the turbines to stand. They clearly never came here to experience the becalming for themselves. Personally, I would have supported it. Turbines would be a fitting contemporary refuge for a hermit. The revolution and the permanence. God, I love his voice. Whoa, what is that? Crop circle. Well, it's not even a crop. Sand circle. That's creepy. It looks like an arrow. Uh... Some sort of arrow. Okay. Don't know how to clean up after themselves. True. Hi, Zed. Welcome. Arrow where? Right? That's what I'm saying. Look at this. I don't know. I saw a circle showing a spin. That goes back to what we were talking about earlier, where everyone sees the same image, but differently. Okay, that's a creepy looking cave. I have found the ship's manifest, crumpled and waterlogged under a stash of paint cans. It tells me that along with this present cargo, there was a large quantity of antacid yogurt bound for the European market. It must have washed out to sea. God knows there are no longer gulls or goats here to eat it. Whoa, that's a car door. Hmm. Very interesting. Ah, oh, thanks. It's actually a shirt. It's actually a shirt. Thanks, Seth. I appreciate that. Can I go in the water? Huh. Wait, am I gonna die? Can I go into the water? Oh heck, oh heck. <gasps> okay, whoo, thought I died. <laughs> That's sketchy. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can go over there. All right, let's go back and go up to the lighthouse. Yeah, I have the bottom part cut off, but yeah, it's just a shirt. 
But thank you very much. I appreciate that. Kind of looks like a ship to you. Well, we're going to pass it again, so we'll be able to look at it. Eighth day without water? What do you mean without water? Why don't you have water? Why don't you have water? Ah, oh, faith related. So are you not allowed to drink anything or just water? Are you in a desert? I was going to say, I, I don't love water, but I don't think I could go eight days without it. I have to drink some. Have shower or eat meal or anything. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, just liquid. Okay, so no liquid for eight days? Is that it? Dang, I would be so thirsty. Oh, okay, eat tomatoes and apples. Okay. So you can't shower or eat meat or anything? You cannot? It is. Yeah, Jules. It is a bit weird and creepy. I like it. <laughs> okay, so there's a lighthouse-ish thing there. Wait. What it? Okay, I think that's just a broken window, but it kind of looked like a person up there to me, like a demon. I love the narrator's voice though, a lot. And I'm awkward to say this to people. Oh, no worries, Zen, no worries. Thanks for sharing. I don't see anything on the ground. Oh, can we? I don't think I can get across. Oh! What? Okay. Donnelly reported the legend of the hermit, a holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. More pain. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, when all that haunts the ocean is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side, and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. The shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claimed to have seen him. I have visited the cave, and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. Is this kind of creepy? <gasps> oh my god. Please don't die. <gasps> oh no. Oh, gotta go back. Damn, I thought I could go up or across that part. I don't think there is a save button, Alexis. I don't think there's a save. I tried to press a couple things and nothing happened. Hmm. I don't know if I saw... Uh, did I see another way up? I'm not sure if I saw another way up or not. So there was a cave. My full attention was on the cave, so I don't know if there was another way up. I thought we could get across because we were able to cross this part. So I thought we'd be able to cross the other, but I was wrong. <laughs> Maybe we can go up this way? I don't see any other way to go up. 
That was the only way I saw. But there's a freaking rock slide, so... I'm not sure where to go from here. Can't go up here. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not seeing another way up. Unless there's like something I'm missing. Should I try and go across again? Because look, we were able to cross this part. Like, how is that possible? That we can't cross the other. I can't even go up here. I can go in the cave, but I didn't see anything in here. Oh! Oh! Here we go. Oh, nope, this is as far as I can go, I think. Wait. There's light out there. There's light out there. Can I go any further? I can't go any further than that. But there's light out there. There was, anyway. Such a creepy tunnel. Okay. I wonder if it'll let me cross now. Come on, 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 come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh... I don't think I can make it. Unless I can like run and jump. I, I just don't think I can make it. Come on, come on. No, oh God. I keep thinking I'm gonna die, but he like slides. Okay, maybe we could go back and check the house. I don't know where, I'm, where else I'm supposed to go from there. Like, I couldn't go anywhere outside the cave once I saw the light. I tried to go further, but it wouldn't let me. So I could only go back, which would be this way. Hmm... What if I was to try and go up here? No. This is where we came from. Was here. We went in the house. I don't see any other way around or up. I want to get to that light on the other side. I just don't know how. Wait. Okay, I didn't notice that photo before. Oh, can I go through the door? No. Hmm. I don't see a key or anything. To get through. Just a bunch of old books and a photo. Or oh, here's some more no cards. Music. Maybe something I missed in here. Just a lot of paint. A lot of paint. Hmm. Hi, Liger. Welcome in. I would be shooting myself in this house. 
It's a super creepy house. Okay, I'm going to run to the bathroom, and then I'm going to try and take the beach again. And maybe find another way, but there, there's something I'm missing. There's something I'm missing. Okay, let me run to the bathroom, guys. I will be right back.
Okay. Hi, little bear. Welcome in. I do look dark elfish. I'd probably, uh, I should probably try to go to bed so my sleep doesn't go to hell. Have a nice stream. Thanks, Lant. Oh, I can't tab out when I'm in the game. So I can't see your video, but. I would never troll. Who do you think I am? Uh-huh. Just shut my door really quick. Okay. So, I said I was gonna... Let's try and... I feel like I missed something down here. So let's go down here. Not see the distinguished gentleman? What do you mean? How are you doing, little bear? Oh, this is where I slid down from. Okay. Okay, so the fact that I keep sliding down here makes me think there's something telling me to go this way. There's no other way to go, so we have to... There has to be something here. Your Lantix, Master Trolla. Master Trolla. Okay. Can't go up here. Can't go up here. <gasps> I found it, you guys. I found it. This is, this is it. You must be thinking of someone else. I'm an angel. Sorry, I was updating my PC. What did I miss? Oh, uh, I was just saying I, I see what you're, you're saying. I, I'm giving off dark elf vibes. And then we were trying to figure out where to go. And I, I actually just found a staircase we completely missed. You must be thinking of someone else. I'm an angel. Nope, I'm not. <laughs> Hope all's been well. All has been well. I was gonna try and start stream earlier, but I uh, had a late night last night, so we ended up starting stream a bit later, but other than that, everything is good. <gasps> this is where we were trying to get across. This is where we kept sliding down and we were trying to get across. Here we go. I hope everything's been good for you, Liger. With work and everything and staying safe. Is it smoky where you are at all? A wonderful sight. The moon cresting the junction between the cliff path and the stone circle. It cast a shadow of the ridge across the beach. All the world God, this as is if you had signed your name in untidy handwriting. His voice with like the scenery is just stunning. So beautiful. Creepy but beautiful. Smoky? No? Good. Our air is still smoky here. We were having some fires. Oh, it is getting really windy. Kind of creepy music too a bit. 
When someone had died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boats, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff path died along with its hosts. My I see it. For this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Infection? That's the white chalk cliffs he's talking about. Work is going through a lot of changes and I'm trying to keep up. A little lighter. Whoa. That's really creepy down there. Remember when we saw that flashing light? I wonder what that was. Oh, there's a cave over there. Hmm. Some good news during the changes though? What's that? What's the good news? I quote directly. A motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? Hmm. I'm gonna see if I can go up here really quick. There's still that light really far out there in the distance. Okay, it doesn't look like I can go up here, but can I go up here? Nope. Okay. Let's move on. So I'm not sure if he was just saying it as part of the story, but he said something about a sickness that's not of the body, which would mean of the mind. But I don't know if that was just like a metaphor for something or literal. My year of view is up and I'm getting a pay raise and basically becoming a shift lead, which I, wait, I, I think you may have told me this, which I'm excited about moving up. Uh, but at the same time, I'm still learning and nervous about being a lead. I get that. I get that. But you have to think of if you, if they didn't see something in you, they probably wouldn't have offered it. And challenge is what helps us to grow. And although it's scary, you you're gonna grow from it and become a stronger person for it or a better and i mean a pay raise don't hurt you know but challenge is how we grow so Dearest, i'm excited for you i met paul i think you can do my it my own little pilgrimage my damascus a small semi-detached on the outskirts of wolverhampton we drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiraled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, 
He'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. All right, here's another path. I'm really excited for you, Liger. Congratulations on the uh, I threw my arms pay wide raise. And the cliff opened out before me, making this rough home. <gasps> Whoa. I transferred my belongings from the Bothy on the Mount and tried to live here instead. It was cold at night, and the sea lapped at the entrance at high tide. To climb the peak, I must first venture even deeper into the veins of the island, where the signals are blocked altogether. Only then will I understand them, when I stand on the summit and they flow into me, uncorrupted. Whoa. This is where we need to make our mark, chat. This is where we need to make our mark. This is where we write the Lil Sam signs. It is this cave with this painting. This is so creepy yet beautiful. What is that? Is that like an octopus sea monster? What is that? Interesting. That's a pee pee. <laughs> Um, there's also not many choices between the available people that are qualified for lead. So, what you're saying is, like, the pool of people that they could choose from was even smaller? That sounds like an even harder choice, because I know when I have, like, a ton of options, it's a bit easier to choose. But when I only have, like, very few options, it's very hard to choose. For me. So... That's pretty cool that they chose you. That are qualified for lead. I have to learn about software and programming now. And my head's gonna hurt. I'm excited too, yeah, I'm really excited for you. That's, that's really dope. Congratulations on the pay raise and the, uh, the new role. Yeah, only three people qualified. And you were chosen. That's amazing. That's really cool. You got this, Liger. You got this. You have to tell us how it goes. I love knowledge. I love learning new things. So, yeah, you'll have to... Tell us how learning all the programming and all that new stuff goes. That sounds like an adventure though. Really fun. I'm so excited for you. Knowledge is power. Learn as much as you can while you can. Software and programming is pretty easy to get into, so you'll be fine. We all believe in you. That's really pretty water. It's very crystal clear. This water reminds me of Idaho. Just that really cold, crisp, clear water. I've become convinced I'm not alone here. Even though I'm equally sure it is simply a delusion brought upon by circumstance. I do not, for instance, remember where I found the candle or why I took it upon myself to light such a strange pathway. Perhaps it is only for those who are bound to follow. Huh. Interesting, okay. I'm I'm struggling to follow. I think he got here through a shipwreck. But it sounds like he's delusional. And I don't mean that rudely, I mean that literally, but... Hmm. Chemistry. And what looks like 
something religious, maybe? This is a bit creepy. And there's like four ways to go, so I'm not sure where to go from here. I'm kind of curious if we can go up here. Oh. Are we able to go up? Because I see a cave up there, but I think it might just be a waterfall. But I was hoping we could like... Wait, I see rope up here. As if you could walk up there. Um... I'm talking about 3D software manufacturing. Surely you can do it. Those are not too bad either. I had courses with those. Gotta start looking into getting these reference books and stuff. Man, that's, that's really cool. You're gonna learn a lot. I love that everyone including myself. Know that you can do it and really believe in you. Ah, I think maybe this is how I... Oh, no. Huh. How do I get up there? Thanks for being so supportive, guys. Hmm. Okay, so I don't think I can go any more up here. I'm not sure how to get into this fenced-in area here. Maybe up there somehow? Okay, so we can either go down or through here. I kind of want to try and take a little peek down here before we pass it. And just make sure we're not missing anything. Oh. That is a very far drop and most certainly death. <laughs> this is most certainly death. We're not going down there. I think that's the cave we already went into. Uh, anyways. Nah, Liger's, Liger's a smart person. Smart guy. With a fancy brand new job position. I'm really stoked. I think it's gonna be awesome. Okay. Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Hmm. Yeah, so if all goes well, I'll be here even less. Aww. I mean, that's a bummer, but I completely understand. Life definitely always comes first. And either way, we'll be here. You know, whenever you can make it around, we'll be here. Oh, 
Okay, so there was a way up there. And... A way down. So, oh! I see a light out there. I see a light. Okay, welcome back, Mumbo. So do they train you, or do they expect you to do online courses or something? Learn on my own and they will teach me too. Good. It'll definitely help to have two sources of information, both on your own and through them. Or oh, I think it's just a buoy with a light on it. Wow. Look at this. This is quite the the wreck. I wonder, am I able to climb up things? No? Okay. Um... There hasn't, Mumbo. Bit of creepy vibes, but no jump scares. And I can always pick up the other lead's brains for help. Good. Good. So that's like three sources of resource and information that's that's really good we found uh we found a cave with really interesting like pictures on the walls there mumbo must be a hole in the bottom of the boat how else could new hermits have arrived we found a cave with very interesting paintings in it Okay, so I think this is as far as we can go. There is three boats that are wrecked here. Very interesting. Oh, what does that say? What does that say, you guys? Neither did he nor drink. Neither did... Hmm. Can you guys make out what that says? And neither did I. Neither so. Yes. Keep people happy. Keep people happy. Maz, thank you very much for the nine months tier one sub. I really appreciate that, Mazo. It's good to see you. Welcome back. Nine months. Can you guys make out what that says? How's your day been, Maz? And yes, sleep. See you sometime. Also, link to the video on Discord so you can see it later if you want. Thank you, Lant. Thank you. Yeah, I can't tab out i have to like i think this game is a bit older so there's only window mode which is like not nice window mode it's like actual tiny window mode and then full screen and i'm in full screen to get it to work on obs but i can't tab out and when i do it completely closes the game <laughs> so i'll have to watch it after stream and have a good night lant i hope you have a wonderful night sleep well welcome back liger it says, and neither did he nor drink. And neither did. And neither did. I don't see the. Eat? E. I don't see the A. Neither did he eat nor drink. Is it just spelt wrong? I see it now. 
very creepy. Really effing creepy. It's been alright, still sleepy a bit, and I'm gonna watch a video on learning how to edit videos in DaVinci Resolve. I take it DaVinci Resolve is a video making program. I've always used Sony Vegas, um, so I'm not familiar with other uh, video editing programs. Okay, so there is a path this way, which we haven't gone, but I want to go to the left. I'm, I'm struggling to understand what's going on here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm struggling a bit to understand. I'm not sure if he's delusional. And I don't know who Esther is. I don't know if that's a friend. Because he mentioned having uh, coffee in the kitchen with someone. So I'm not sure if he's just like got an imaginary friend or... Yeah. Uh, like Sony Vegas, okay. Now it's not spelled wrong, it's just really hard to read. I'm sleepy as well, Maz. I actually, I wanted to start stream much earlier, but I had such a, a long night. I was having like really bad cramps, so I wasn't able to fall asleep for a really long time. Um, I think I went to bed at like 2 or 3 a.m., which... I've been sleeping earlier from like anywhere from 10 to 12 so I could wake up early. Um, but yeah, I wasn't able to fall asleep last night. So I slept in. I like hibernated until almost 1 p.m., which is kind of crazy. I got you. I got you, it's man. It's night that this place makes any sluggish effort at life. You can see the boy and the aerial. I've been taking to sleeping through the day in an attempt to resurrect myself. I can feel the last days drawing upon me. There's little point now in continuation. So is he dying? New to find here. Some nook or some cranny that offers a perspective worth clinging to. I've burnt my bridges. I've sunk my boats and watched them go to water. This is interesting because earlier he had mentioned these cliffs made of chalk or that you carve and they're like white chalk cliffs which we saw and that means a death so did he wreck with some people that died and passed away did people kill each other um it sounds like he's stranded maybe and looking for any Anything to hold on to, any kind of hope, something new to not go crazy because uh, earlier he had mentioned being delirious, which I wasn't sure if it was a metaphor for something. Okay, now we have two different paths. We have one going up here and then we have one between those rocks, which I'm not sure which one I'd like to take first. Um, I know who Esther is. Okay, don't tell me, Mumbo. Don't tell me. Because I, I want to try to figure it out myself. But if at the end of the game, when it's over, if I can't figure it out and I don't know, uh, I will, I will let you guys know and, and we'll discuss it. I'm going to watch this 30 minute video. I'll have you up on the second monitor while I do some, uh, do some learning. I'll keep an eye out for people. To shout out, etc. Thank you so much, Maz. I really appreciate that. Good luck with your learning. And I hope that uh, I hope that video program is easy to pick up. I think that's why I cling to Sony Vegas because I already kind of know it, and there's still so much I haven't learned. I'm like scared to open a whole nother can of worms and learn a new one. But you'll have to let me know um, if this one's kind of easy to pick up. But good luck with the learning. Okay, I can't forget about that other path between those two mountains. By the three wrecked ships. Three wrecked ships between the mountains. Oh, 
Oh, perfect. This just brought us back to where we started. Okay. So we can actually go to the other path right now. Okay, cool. And then there might be one path behind us, I believe, that we haven't checked out. I think there was a path that we had to pass. Don't hurt your brain. I love how everyone is, like, using this time to, to learn. Knowledge is such a, like... It's such a great gift. I just, I love... I love hearing when people are, like, learning new things or learning new things myself. I had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. Oh, After kidney stones hurt. When I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Julie, thank you for the 7,000 tacos. You would bomb. Yeah, there's three new, there's three new, uh, channel point rewards that are fun. So we have the bomb compliment, um, and we have selfie, and, uh, what was the third one I made? The bomb selfie, oh, there was one more. Ah, I forgot. Ah, oh, the RGBs. Yes. Liger. Yeah, changing changing my RGB light. Thanks for the 7,000 tacos, Jules. Yep. And then I want to add more. Like, I want to... There's still more I want to add. You the bomb girl. Oh, is that a cave down there? <gasps> is this what Paul saw through his windscreen? Holy shiz, I almost fell. Looking over her shoulder, but a scar in the hillside, falling away to black forever. Two brothers on a save option, and we can't just, ooh, you know, ooh, <laughs> whoop. <laughs> but I really don't want to die. Should we try it anyway? Yolo. Should we try and jump down the black hole? How many tacos for you to jump? No, that is the compliment. It's the bomb compliment. Anytime you want to know that you to bomb, I will gladly remind you for 7,000 tacos. <laughs> for a small fee of 7,000 tacos. I, you girl gotta eat. And I love me some tacos, so. You feed me 7,000 tacos, I will tell you, you to bomb. Come back. Whoa, we just died and came back to life. Okay, that was kind of cool. Wait, what's that? Oh, another house. Two. I've begun to climb away from the sea and towards the center. It is a straight line to the summit, where the evening begins to coil around the area and squeeze the signals into early silence. The Bothy squats against the mount to avoid the gaze of the aerial. Stables. I too will creep under the island like an animal and approach it from the northern shore. <gasps> Whoa, what is this? No. Oh no. What happened? There's tons of gauze, blood. What 
What in the world? You can barely hear the game? Wait, really? Is it like that for everyone? Can everyone... Is it quiet for everyone? So this looks like it was a settlement. Or just people lived here and maybe once had like pathways and possibly farms. This is really cool. Wow. The Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. Okay, I just checked. I just checked the volume on my phone and it sounds good. It sounds okay. I think you just gotta turn it up on your end, Mumbo. Unless it's quiet for everyone. Because it looks good on my end and uh... And it sounded good on my phone. What is this? Okay. Well, this looks like it was once really beautiful. I don't know what happened here, but... That was really creepy to find so much blood everywhere. Oh, there's another house over there. My heart is landfill. These false dawns There's wake blood here. The still never light. I sweat for you in the small hours and wrap my blankets into a mass. I have always heard the waves break on these lost shores, always the gulls forgotten. I can lift this bottle to my ear, and all there ever is for me is this Hebridean music. Wait, is that an ultrasound? I can't tell, but that might be an ultrasound. No, but how would that get here? Maybe it was on the ship when it crashed? Lots of clothes everywhere. <gasps> oh, I thought that was more blood. Oh, there's a bed and a suitcase. Interesting. Very interesting. Hey, Mots, welcome in. No, no, Mumbo, don't. Yeah, no, don't tell me anything about the game. Nothing. No basic points, nothing. No hints. I don't want to know anything. No. Nope. We'll discuss it after the game if I can't figure it out on my own. Maybe a fire? It looks like this was more stables at some point. Oh. Okay, is this guy crazy? Like, why is there so many paint symbols? It's weird. Oh! 
What the hell was that? I swear I saw something in that cave. I swear I just saw something in that cave. Huh. You're all dolled up like you're going out. I did a slight, um... I did a slight curly cosplay last minute. Uh, she's a music artist that I really like and we were talking about her in Discord before stream. So I just did like a quick little last minute cosplay. And the closest thing I had to what she was wearing in the video, Feral Hearts, was this shirt. So that's why I'm wearing like such a fancy shirt. Oh, yes, and the polka dots. I th think that's the cave we went to? Or it's a new one. Can- I feel like we can fall off, yeah. Yeah. We already, like- Jacobson's ribcage, they told Donnelly, was deformed. The result of some birth defect or perhaps a traumatic injury as a child. Brittle and overblown it was, and desperately light. Perhaps it was this that finally did for him. Unable to contain the shattering of his heart. In half-light, his skeleton a discarded prop. A false and calcified seabird. Okay, this is new. We haven't been here. I thought this was a cave we went to, but it's not. This is a new cave. There's so many different directions they you can go. They Jacobson in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. He'd struggled halfway down the cliff path, perhaps looking for some lost goat, or perhaps in a delirium, and expired curled into a claw right under the winter moon. Even the animals shunned his corpse. The mainlanders thought to bring it home unlucky. Donnelly claims they dragged it to the caves to thaw out and rot. But he is proving an unreliable witness. Ooh. Okay, so it... It gets to freezing here. Freezing temperatures. So, I guess people died from starvation? Climbing down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. Oh, the no. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves. Winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. I know, Mumbo. Really creepy, right? Okay, this is beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> Donnelly did not pass through the caves. From here on in, his guidance, unreliable as it is, is gone from me. I understand now that it is between the two of us, and whatever correspondence can be drawn from the wet rocks. I think we're delirious. How are we even still walking? This is beautiful. Wow. This is really pretty. The water's not deep. Very pretty. And creepy. 
Why is it red there? Hmm. More red. It's pretty. <gasps> no way. Holy cow. This is beautiful. I wonder if we can jump in. It does, Mots. Where the hell are you now? I don't know, but it's beautiful. It does look like I'm doing a walkthrough for a game. A beautiful game. Damn. Sounds good, Mumbo. I would 100% explore here, IRL. I love exploring. I could definitely get lost here. Look at the mushrooms. Look at the mushrooms. Oh, look at the mushrooms. So cool. The water is gorgeous. There's a cave over there. Oh, maybe that's the cave we saw. Holy. Cow. This is beautiful. Another candle. The mushrooms. I love the mushrooms. Mm. 
more red. Look at the path that we came. It's very cool looking. Welcome back, Mumbo. I am traveling through my own body, following the line of infection from the shattered femur towards the heart. I swallow fistfuls of painkillers to stay lucid. In my delirium, I see the twin lights of the moon and the aerial shining to me through the rocks. More paintings. And here's another one. I don't even know which way to go. There's like so many different ways. This looks like it goes up. Do I go through? I don't know what any of this means. I do remember seeing a book at the rocks that was chemistry and this looks like chemistry. He's been doing maths. Yeah. There was a chemistry book at the rocks. But chemistry for what? Icicles or rocks, I don't even know, but god, that's so pretty. Hi, Yuletide, welcome in. Welcome in. More paintings. Is this a cave? <gasps> is this where we came from or is this another cave? Yeah, this is where we came from. This is where we came from. Now should we go up? I think I'm gonna follow the river a little more. See if it's another dead end. think we can go any further. Wait, those are paper boats, you guys. Look at all the paper boats. Those are all paper boats. Very interesting. Those are all paper boats. Oh, go sideways. Good idea. Nope. Can't. Oh, it's... Hard to fight the current. Trying to fight the current to... There we go. More paintings. That definitely looks like a freaking squ squid. Or like the Kraken. Maybe the Kraken is how all these people died. Maybe they released him by coming to his island.
more painting. Okay. I think this is where we entered from. All right, we're going to go up now. We have not been up here yet, so this is new. So if you guys don't know, this game is a walking simulator. So you guys said it looks like I'm walking through a game. I am. It's a walking simulator, and it's just supposed to be story-rich and immersive. So there's no quests or anything like that. It's just a very immersive game that had very, very high and good reviews. Yeah, shift does nothing. There's no running. It's, it's a walkthrough. It's a walking simulator. Whoa, are these crystals? Ooh! Holy... Diamonds, maybe? I can't go throughout this way. Oh... My gosh. It's a galaxy. It does look like a galaxy. You're right. It's really pretty. This whole it cave. The shaft they threw the goats into. It cannot be the landfill where the parts of your life that would not burn ended up. It cannot be the chimney that delivered you to the skies. It cannot be the place where you rained back down again to fertilize the soil and make small flowers in the rocks. I don't know if I can get out. <laughs> Oops. Oh, sh I don't think I can get out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, God, that is scary. Again with the chemistry and the paintings. It's so weird. I don't know what this is. Anyone know chemistry? Which program did you use to edit when I used to make videos, Julie? Is that what you're asking? I used Sony Vegas. If that's what you're- Oh, what the hell is this? Weird words. What is happening? Behold? Behold? Damascus? Behold. Damascus takey? Nah, -uh. fakey? I think that was a name he said. What is happening here? This is so incredibly creepy. This is really creepy. Never liked Sony Vegas. It's just what I always um, have started out using. So it's just kind of always been where I was comfortable. And for me, it was really easy to use. Whoa. Does this say Axe something or Acid? Axe? This is really weird. <laughs> A lot of chemistry. Who had time to do all this? This is like Damascus backwards.
away from being a city away from being a city and it shall be a Damascus is taken. I use Video Pro X. And it shall be... a fungus? Pun pungus? Pungus? Heap? And it shall be a... Fungus heap? Pungus? Please heap? Huh. Hmm. Wait, behold Damascus is taken away from being a city and it shall be a ruinous heap? Very interesting. That's what I read. That's really good, Julie. And really creepy. Are you hearing music? Stop. That's really weird. When you go underwater, you hear music. And now you hear nothing. That is freaking creepy. That is creepy. I don't know. Oh, there's a candle or something up there. You see it? Oh boy, here we go again. Oh, <gasps> no! Did I just die? <laughs> uh. What? Why are we in a city, you guys? What? Is this an IV? Oh my god. This looks like an IV, like a doctor's table. What is happening? We're on like a freeway. I think we've lost it. Are we dead? <laughs> we are a hundred percent hallucinating.
I don't know where we were, but that was really creepy. There was just like a city underwater with an IV and a metal table. Hmm. Oh, look at the moon. More candles. More candles. I sat here and watched two jets carve parallel white lines into the sky. They charted their course, and I followed them for 21 minutes until they turned off near Sanford and were lost. If I were a gull, I would abandon my nest and join them. I would starve my brain of oxygen and suffer delusions of transcendence. I would tear the bottom from my boat and sail across the motorways until I reached this island once again. I don't know what that is on that rock. I want to say it's like more chemistry, but I don't really know. And there is a lot of paint on this island. I'm I'm so creeped out. There's like another pathway down here and like tons of stuff out there. Oh, look at the sky. And, and the clouds are even moving. It's such a pretty game. Creepy, but pretty. Okay, an old burnt car, maybe? Another really old car? What are these pictures? Dear Esther, I find each step harder and heavier. I drag Donnelly's corpse on my back across these rocks, and all I hear are his whispers of guilt, his reminders, his burnt letters, his neatly folded clothes. He tells me I was not drunk at all. A really effed up computer, maybe? Or is that like a... No! It's medical bloody supplies again. And those are the things that are like, um... When you're trying to revive someone. It's to get their heartbeat back. What is happening? Why is there so much blood? Yeah, a defibrillator. What? This is so creepy. There's a whole ass another pathway that way. And there was a whole ass another pathway that way too. Should we continue this way? I don't even know. Oh heck, who be this? What's up, AJ? I'm Drink. Nice to meet you, Drink. I am Lil of House Theos. Welcome in, Traveler. More chemistry, what? I, I don't know what's going on. Is this another creepy picture? 
I can't make out what it is. Maybe a person? I smell, uh, I, f I smound, I found Smirnoff at the store and it's, and it's vibing nice. Vibing's always a good time. Vibing is a vibe. I'm not sure if I should continue to go this way or go the other way because there's so much either way. More car parts. Guys, what the heck is going on? Pictures of cars. Pictures of car parts everywhere. And then actual car parts. My day is going really good, AJ. My day is going really good. This is my first playthrough of this game and it's so creepy. It is so, so creepy. But also beautiful. Hold on. I actually forgot to... Uh... Add the tag first playthrough. First playthrough. Um. Okay. I'm just adding tags that I forgot to add. Let's do that. We'll do blind playthrough. There we go. Okay, I just added some uh, tags to our stream. But yeah, uh, day's going good so far. Uh, can't complain. How about your day, AJ? I freaking love your candles. Yes, I'm so glad that you like them. You know what else is creepy but also beautiful? Me. And said my Nora candle is all gone. Oh, I, that was one of my faves. But I still have the blood orange one. I love that one. And that's not a candle I'd ever typically buy for myself. But it's one that I really, really loved. There were chemical stains on the tarmac. The leak of air conditioning, brake fluid and petrol. He kept sniffing at his fingers as he sat by the roadside, waiting as if he couldn't quite understand or recognize their smell. Whoa. He said he'd been traveling back from a sales conference in Exeter. He'd stopped for farewell drinks earlier, but had kept a careful eye on his intake. You could hear the sirens above the idling traffic. Why does he keep talking about a city when we're on an island? I'm so confused. And we have more creepy words. We have more creepy words. Um... A light from heaven shone around a light from heaven shone around shone around A, a light from heaven shone around. I don't know. 
It's been like a week since I've been on Twitch. I was stuck in the feels. Oh no, why are you stuck in your feels? But I'm feeling a lot better. Well, that's good, I'm glad. It says him. Oh, a light from heaven shone around him. This dude is tripping balls. I'm sorry you were stuck in feels. What, 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 what feels? Did something happen, AJ, or just... Or just... Random feels. Unexplained feels. I don't know if I should keep continuing to go this way when... What is that? Those look like bones. And there's more creepy music. And another house. Okay. Creepy. Creepy, 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 creepy. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one more and I stairs. folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic. And I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Oh, this is creepy. Why is there... Are those eggs in a basket on... On a sudden, a light from heaven shone around him, and he fell to the ground. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Yep. Oh my gosh, we've made it to the, the light thingy. But I've missed stuff down below. Should we? I think we should go back. I feel like we're getting really far ahead. Uh, I think we have to go down here. And then we'll have to come back and go up. Because I feel like if we go, keep going up, we're going to get further away from going down. More paper boats. Can I go in the water or will I die? Oh, I died. Oh. Okay. Come back. It's so creepy. Uh, I stopped smoking. I want it, and it made me a little depressed. But I'm, I'm get over. Trying to get better. Trying to better myself. Oh, I get back to the real AJ. Chemicals playing tricks on my head, you feel. Aw, AJ, I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad that you're feeling better. I'm glad that you are working on you. Aw, AJ, thank you for the 100 biddies. I appreciate that. And I'm glad that you're here. Hanging out. It's good to see you. I think... I think you're always you. No matter what. But. That's just from an outside. Looking in. But you've always been you to me. I just hope that you. I hope that you feel more you. You know. I hope you feel more you. Good. I'm glad you're getting there. The good stuff always happens slowly. Anything worth having. You gotta... Is slow when you have to work for. It is what it is.
Okay, now I have to remember our way back. Okay, that's the creepy cave. Right? With the, yeah, with the car pieces. So, no. Hmm. I'm not sure why there's car pieces here and why there's so many pictures of a car. Yeah. I forgot the actor's name, but um, the actor who played Black Panther, as I'm sure everyone knows, um, died from stage four colon cancer. So that's just crazy. Like, it's just been kind of nuts. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. I also think that this is a hard time on everyone in a different way. Um, but I think it'll make people hopefully stronger in the end. Right? Acting even while going through it. That's, that's a real superhero. He was an actual superhero in real life. Not just in the movies. That's insane. That is a strong ass man right there. A strong person, just in general. It's absolutely crazy. <gasps> oh god. We died. We fell through the flooring and died. So can I not walk across that? I want to try one more time. We'll just have to be careful. Just be careful. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's what happened. There's just no floor. Hey, what's up? Uh, King. King, I remember. Sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses, so it's a little harder to see names. Yep, there's just a massive hole in the floor. That'll do it. We got this. Y Yay! <laughs> we made it to the candle! <laughs> Alright. At least we know we can balance. We've got excellent balance. Yeah, I don't know. 2020 has just been pretty crazy year. Pretty, pretty crazy. And it's definitely uh, hard on everyone in a different way. People are getting to know a lot about themselves. Dude, there's so many ways to go. How am I supposed to... Decide. Have we gone in here? Ah, oh, yes. This is the cave we came from. And then we went right. Instead of left. Um. Is helpful or at least interesting? What do you mean, Mumbo? Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, sweet. So we were going the right way. There's no other way to go. Okay. Cool. Now we know. Let's head back. Um. Wait, is that his name, Liger? Uh, the actor that plays Black Panther? Chadwick Boseman? You got to talk to him in real life. I've been saying things about what he's saying. Like an armada? And the boats? Oh. Sorry. I must have missed it, Mumbo. I apologize. I'm definitely going to miss stuff because I'm like... I'm very into the game. Wait. Okay. No, we're good. Um... Did 
That's crazy. Very blessed I got to meet him IRL. It's crazy ass here, yeah. And I know it's tough on a lot of people. Mentally, physically. Like, my mom is a big, um, get out of the house kind of person. Like, she does not like being cooped up. My sister either. Um, so when the lockdown first happened, they were just, like, losing their minds. Like, I've got to do something, you know? Whereas I'm more of a homebody, so being stuck at home is just a typical day in my life. <laughs> so I don't mind, but I do still like to get out from time to time. But I think now is a really good time to be creative, to learn something, maybe take up a new hobby, read a book, um, study something, practice something. They say the, the, the idle mind is the devil's playground. And I think that's really true. Like when you're not working your brain because it's a muscle so when you're not exercising that muscle you it's easy to get depressed or sad or bored or maybe just in a bad place um Oh, I think I missed more chat. I can't tab out. Uh, I see something about boats were. I, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't tab out because it closes the game. So I can't actually scroll up to see what you wrote. Um, you also aren't supposed to, supposed to not have help unless asked. Yes, if it's anything with help, don't tell me. No help, no advice. Uh, nothing that could be a spoiler or backseating, um, yeah, yeah. So I think I missed what you said again, but, um, I ran into Grant at a cat cafe downtown San Diego, took my ex for our anniversary, and he was in line with us. Wait, Grant? Grant. Super nice and took the time out of his day to talk to me as a fan. That's sick. I'm saying facts about what he's saying. Oh, so it could be a little helpful. I don't want any help though. Not until the end. Not until after the game. Um, like if you're afraid you're going to forget, maybe write it down, Mumbo, because I would love to hear this after the game. Um, cause there's a, probably a lot of stuff that I'm not understanding or that I'm missing and I want to discuss it after the game. So I would write it down and then, um, and then we can talk about it after. Um, unless it's like, I'm asking, what does this say? And if you know, then you can tell me. Cause if I'm like, what does this say? I can't. I can't read it. Do you guys know? Then you can chime in um, and just say what it says, but nothing like further, no explanations or anything like that. I got postal. I don't know what postal two is. I can pee in people's mouth now. No idea what that is. I've been playing uh, Wii bowling checkers with my mom to help keep us sane. Yeah, I know like now uh, for a lot of people is really mentally tough. I've actually taken up reading, um, as most of you guys know. Ooh. I've started to read um, Tib Hop, Tibbo. Excellent. No, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, the Hobbit. Yeah. I'm defining Armada. Oh. Wait, where did you get Armada from? What is Armada, Mumbo? Um. I'm not helping or spoiling, just saying things about what he is saying. Oh, okay, okay, sounds good. Um, wait, so AJ, Grant, who's Grant? Is Grant the guy who played Black Panther? Or there's only one Grant that I know, and it's, uh, it's, uh, what's his name? Um, 
from Ghost Hunters. Um, I mean, the whole point of this game is to interpret what he is saying. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to interpret it the way I want to at first. And then um, we can, like, have a discussion about it after, about how, like, you interpreted it. Um, I'm I, Like I said, I'm sure I'm missing a lot. I actually don't understand a lot. So I would love to hear, like, you guys can fill me in. It's better than GTA. Gotcha. Similar game. Yes. Yeah. Tibho. Tibho. Sweet book. He was saying, from here I can see my armada. <gasps> oh, Grant from Mythbusters. Okay, because there's a, a Grant that I know um, from Ghost Hunters. Wait, Grant from Mythbusters, didn't he pass away? Didn't he pass away? An armada is a fleet of warships. Oh, that's what the paper boats were. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. What is Tibbo? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> yeah, he passed. I, I remember hearing that. I used to watch a lot of Mythbusters. Poso 2 was a world was worldwide banned. Oh, I could see why. Ping in people's mouths. Have a good one, Mumbo. Have a good one. Um, yeah, so I've been reading uh, The Hobbit. I'm only on like the second chapter. Let's see what page. 27. So I'm on page 27 of the book. I don't know how many pages that there are, but I love Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and all that. Um, I know like The Hobbit for a lot of people was their least favorite, but so far the book's been so good. So, so good. Uh, I really love The Hobbit. It's my first time reading it. Um, yeah, it's been really good. I haven't had a ton of time to read it, but uh, yesterday I was doing some some house stuff and I was like, I really want to read it. So I just took a break from doing like house chores and stuff and and finished the chapter, the first chapter. I was so sad when I heard the news. Being a fan is one thing, but actually talking to the guy who, uh, actually talking to the guy made it hurt, yeah. Oh, interesting, Julie. Not because of P, but Skunkus weapon? Huh. I haven't, Liger. I want to play Shadow of Mordor. I haven't played any of those games. I have them on my wish list. I have a ton of good games on my wish list. Like, <sighs> yes. I've got so many good games on my on my Steam wish list. It's so good. Oh. <sighs> my background to my computer is actually uh, Lord of the Rings at the moment. I change it around a lot, but at the moment it's Lord of the Rings. I love both of them. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I have Shadow of Mordor on my wish list. Like, ugh. It's a little hard, but fun. That's actually where I got my font uh, that I that I started using on like my, my name, uh, on my start screen, on my be right back screen, was from this book. I got that font idea not the same exact font but the font idea like i'm in love with it. i love anything like vikings or to do with like gods that's why my name is theos because it's greek for god um so like anything like greek or um uh like vikings i love viking stuff or uh celtic or celtic um nordic kind of thing, love. Um, and then Lord of the Rings and stuff, just oh, love. But I'm like just so into this book. I'm sorry for rambling, but I am so into it and I just like get sucked in and I can picture being there and the descriptions are amazing and I can hear their voices and it's, it's really good. Uh, my Steam wish list, Liger. I have um, some Lord of the Rings games, I believe on my Steam wish list, probably at the top, probably at the top. Uh, I love both of them. Wait, I've never read a book cover to cover. I'm a bona fide papega. I mean, I have with 
books that I had to read in school um, only because I had to. But I think this is, or actually, even as a kid, I used to read like Nancy Drew books. I love like mystery books. Um, but as an adult, I don't think I've read any books cover to cover. So I'm hoping this will be my first. I, I really, 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 really like it. I really like it. So I'm hoping that'll be my first adult book. Um, I love both of them. So what's both of them? You said Shadow of Mordor. Is there another one? I don't know who that is. Liam? Jules? I don't know who that is. Not off the top of my head anyway. Who reads? Hey, I do. Well, the thing is... I've never really been into reading because I've always had to do it for school. So it really turned me off to wanting to read. Um, but now I've recently been really wanting to like read something. And I've been talking about it on stream for a while where I'm like, you know, I, I'm really craving to read something. So uh, we were in Idaho and we went into Barnes and Nobles to check for some like Pokemon stuff or something like that. And I saw The Hobbit and I was like, yes, yes, this is the, yes, this is the one, this is the moment. It is here and now that I'm making this decision. And I even bought like a bookmark to go with it. And uh, it was just, yeah, all the stars aligned and it was just the time. You know Spartacus. Yes, of course I know Spartacus. Oh, is he the original Spartacus, Jules? Or the... I think there was like a second actor. Maybe even a third. Was he the original Spartacus that passed away in real life? Because I really liked him as well. Which wish list? Uh, I don't know if I answered that already, Liger. It should be my Steam wish list under stream. Actually, can you let me know if you can even see my wish list, Liger? I've never really checked that. I've, I've just kind of put it there and it's always been kind of, I don't know, I've just tossed stuff on it for my own self. Oh, I don't see a wish list. Interesting. Oh, I can't tab out at the moment. Oh, maybe I can look at my phone. Hold on. Let me take a quick look at my phone. And see if I can see it from here. My channel uh, about... Oh, it says Steam. So there's tips. There's tips, Steam, Origin, and Merch. Which I should probably take off my Merch because it doesn't exist at the moment. So it should be Steam, where it says Steam. Let me click it and see. Yeah. Yeah, it's Steam. Oh. I think it sorts everything by um, alphabetical. Yeah, I think everything is alphabetical. Yep, I have Middle Earth Shadow of War and Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. I do have them on there. They're all, uh, it's all alphabetical. Yep. Yep. Oh my goodness, I have so much stuff. I have so many games on here that I want to play. Okay, anyway. Good, found it, sweet. Yeah, I, sh I need to take off my merch, uh, my merch link because it doesn't exist anymore, sadly. I'm really sad Flocker's gone. I liked them a lot and I liked the people involved in the company there's a lot of fucking games right a lot of good ones too there's some meme ones there's just like casual ones a sound of torn metal there's some really good ones running over the edge of the rocks a moon that casts a signal as i lay pinned beside you the ticking of the cooling engine and the calling from a great height all my mind as a bypass sounds good aj 
Oh, he's the replacement after the first died. Okay, the first one was my favorite. The first Spartacus was my favorite. I love Spartacus. It's kind of like watching a porno. <laughs> but a tasteful porno. Yep. Uh, Shadow of Mordor is the first, and then Shadow of War is the second. Yep, definitely got both on my list. Definitely got both on my list. The second one was good as well, Jules. Yeah. Talk to him weekly. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carts parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. Interesting. Wow. Look at all the candles he set. And... S something he was... Proceeding something his journey and as he was proceeding on his journey and as he was proceeding on his journey. Hey, welcome back, Mumbo. Okay, and as he was proceeding on his journey. Oh, again with the weird music. Why? Something has come near to Damascus. Damascus. What? You talk to him? How do you talk to him weekly? He's a cool dude. I want my tacos back. Tacos are non-refundable. I've already eaten them all, and they were delicious. I can't read what this says. What does this say, you guys? Can anyone make this out? And... 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 Something, something come near to Damascus. Can anyone make this out? I don't know what the second word is. And was? No, and... I can't make out this word. Was? And something come near. Was. You think it's was too? And, and was come? No, I don't think so. I don't know. If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. Interesting. 
And so he was three days without sight? What the frick is this game? It's so creepy. I'm so confused. It's so creepy. Returning to my car afterwards, hands still shaking, and a head split open by the impact. Goodbye to tearful aunts and traumatized uncles. Goodbye to the phenomenal. Goodbye to the tangible. Goodbye Wolverhampton. Goodbye Sanford. Goodbye Cromer. Goodbye Damascus. This cliff path is slippery in the dew. It is hard to climb with such an infection. I must carve out the bad flesh and sling it from the aerial. I must become infused with the very air. God, it, this is like crazy. Okay, so there was a car accident, it sounds like, because there was pictures of the car and there was pieces of the car everywhere, but how was there a car accident and we're on an island? I don't know. This is... really creepy. Again with the chemistry. And it... came to... and it... and it came to pass that as I made something, I can't read it. And it came to pass. Let's see if I'm able to read it as I pass it. And it came to pass that as I made my journey and was and yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I can't read it. Can't make it out. Um Civilization 5, you know there's a 6, right? I don't even remember the game off the top of my head, um, Liger. But if it's on my wish list, I probably thought it looked really fun or cool or something. Um but off the top of my head, I don't remember what it's about. Great light round about me. Oh, God. And could not see for the... A gull perched on a spent bonnet. Glory. Sideways, whilst the sirens fell through the middle distance that light. and the metal moaned in grief about us. This dude's just I'm crazy. This night in walking, old bread and gull bones, old Donnelly at the bar gripping his drink, old Esther walking with our children, old Paul as ever, old Paul. He shakes and he shivers and he turns off his lights alone. Whoa. Whoa. This is getting super sketch. It's super windy and not nice weather anymore.
Damascus. Okay. of places to climb. I will abandon this body and take to the air. So this is where we die. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. We have always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland. No! Is he going to kill himself? It's trippy. We're a bird? Oh, all our paper boats. So the top where we just ended is where we died from our infection. Were we dreaming? Can I say who Esther was? Yes, Mumbo, yes. You are more than welcome to, to spoil now. And let's talk about it. That was a beautiful game. My hands are sweaty. I was, it was a little creepy. Um, that was a beautiful game. Um, his voice, Nigel Carrington, had such an amazing voice. Um, I think I struggled to follow along a little bit um, to understand what he was trying to say. And he mentioned that he was delirious. So my brain kind of went to 
maybe he's maybe I'm not understanding because he's not making sense. But I don't know if that's what it was. Because some of the things he was saying was kind of off, I felt. Um, two more hours, Jules. Good luck at work. Um, yeah, that was really emotional and like a lot to take in. I'm really confused about the car um, because there's lots of photos of the car. I thought maybe Esther was a wife or something. Um, yeah, I didn't understand the picture of the, pictures of the car or um, the crash he had mentioned about. So, yeah. I was right. Okay, it was the man's wife who passed away. Okay, so I was right with that. Um, that is what I understood, but how did they get on the island? Did they crash on a boat? Was their car on the boat? Were they going somewhere? Um, yeah, were there other people with him? You know, like, so many questions. So many questions, like, did they have kids? You know, were those the names he was referencing to? What is Damascus? Was that where they were going or where they were from? Um, excellent game. I had a lot of fun playing it. Absolutely beautiful, creepy, but beautiful, stunning, fun, very immersive. Really enjoyed that. Short, but, but good. Worth it, you know? As you walk around the island, you uncover how she died. Okay. Um, as you walk around, he reads his letters to his dead wife. I think she died in a car crash. Okay, that makes sense. Why he had pictures of the car and why it seemed like it bothered him so much. I thought maybe they had both died in the car crash, but then, you know, it was just like a story of how they died in the car crash. But that makes sense of how there was photos if his wife maybe died in the car crash and uh, why, the, but why was there so many pieces of the car on the island? Why was there pe like, did they crash on the island? I didn't see room for cars. Like, did their boat... That Was their car on the boat and their boat crashed? I don't know. Um, Esther was his wife that died in a car accident from a drunk driver. But then, what are the... Hmm... Were those pieces of her car? Or... Like, what were the, the pieces of the car on the island and how did they get there? It's Bible texts? What is? Each time you play the game, new characters get introduced? No. Are you serious? Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Are you serious? No way. I pressed resume. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay, it doesn't. Got him. Well, then how come it let me resume? Why did it let me resume? Oh, 
the ref the reference to Damascus. So is that a I reference and watched two jets car parallel to heaven? Into the sky. They charted their course, and I followed them for 21 minutes until they turned off near Sanford and were lost. If it can take gone, multiple runs. I, I see every detail. And join them. I would starve my brain of oxygen and suffer delusions of transcendence. I would tear the bottom from my boat and sail across the motorways until I reached this island once again. So my question is, how did he get to this island? Did he crash on a boat? You know what, maybe I, maybe there is, um, what is it called? Is it a synopsis or is it a summary? Maybe there's something I can read that breaks it down. Yeah. You can post it in chat, Liger. I'm going to post a link uh, for you in Discord DM that explains everything for you when you want to know. I want to know. I want to know. So if you do, let me get this right. If you do another playthrough, it would be the same playthrough, right? Or would it be a playthrough with new details fire explained? Soil, I chose fire. It seemed the more contemporary of the options, the more sanitary. I could not bear the thought of the reassembly of such a ruin. Would it be a new playthrough at all? To shoulder and femur to hip, charting a line of thread like traffic stilled on a motorway. Making it all acceptable for tearful aunts and traumatized uncles flown in specially for the occasion. Reduce to ash, mix with water, make a phosphorescent paint for these rocks and ceilings. Sounds good, Mumbo. Enjoy your show. I hope it's good. So there were chemical stains on the tarmac. The leak of air conditioning break If I did another playthrough of this or if I played it again, it would be the same, right? It also depends on how well you pay attention to details and listen to him. He said he'd been traveling back from a sales conference in Exeter. He'd stopped for farewell drinks earlier, but had kept a careful eye on his intake. He could hear the sirens above the idling train. Interesting, Jules. I had no idea. Thanks, Mumbo. I will. I'll have a good rest of the stream. Huh. Okay, so just so we're clear, if I played this again, it wouldn't be a new game at all, right? It would be the same exact game. I would just maybe notice more details. Most of them are texts. Are Bible texts. That makes sense because I saw a religious book or it looked it was just a book but it looked like it could be a religious book or maybe like a bible next to a chemistry book so it looked like a religious book next to a chemistry book and i was really confused why from here i can see my arm it's the same game you just have to pay attention to everything okay i, I would much rather I'd ever meant to take a look at your link if i'd have ever made it to the mainland but it instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack okay and i spread them out along the lost beach then I took each and every one and I folded them into books. I was just curious why it I said resume. It. Okay. All right. Let's go to main menu. Yes. Okay. Um, let me click this link. Okay. Dear Esther, the story explained. Ooh, this bright. Oh, where's my phone? Let me get some light up in here. We will go lights on again. Ah! <laughs> Let me see if I can turn. Oh, yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, cool. Uh, let me put that back. I recognize them due to people on Twitter. Uh, I mean, this is a synopsis of his 
interpretation and other players that commented but most agree with okay a little gem of experience can be found while traveling through the extensive list of games steam called their esther oh yeah hold on spoilers the characters the narrator um did i just take off one of my i forgot that i put little circles on my face let's take it off oh no it's still there a little bit it's still there a little bit Stayed on pretty well. Okay. Anyway. I thought I just rubbed it off. Um. Oh, here. I can actually. That way you guys can see what I'm looking at. Um. The narrator who you are controlling through the game. His name is not revealed at any point in the game. Uh, he was in a relationship possibly married to Esther. Okay. That's what I assumed. Who thought the. Uh, who throughout the game is mentioned as letters whom the narrator is writing to are addressed to Esther. He is lonely. I definitely got the loneliness. Ridden with guilt and is lost without Esther, who has died. He is composed near the start of the game, and by the end, he becomes more erratic in his thinking. Yeah, I noticed that. I was like, dude's losing it. I'm inclined to think that his age sits him uh, in his 50s. That's why I assumed as well. Uh, the voice you hear is also definitely suited to a man at his age. Esther was in a relationship, possibly married to the narrator. She has died while in the presence of the narrator and gentleman called Paul. She was around the same age as the narrator at the time of her death, which I believe was recent. Based on comments made below by others uh, from the observations, it also appears Esther was pregnant okay that's what okay because there was a lot of references to like birds and like i don't know the eggs i kind of took as baby babies or something like that okay uh with the narrator's child so perhaps the narrator is younger than i originally thought donnelly is a writer from the past who often visited the island that the narrator is currently walking who has also visited the island often donnelly wrote about jacobson and noted everything that happened on the island. His book was found by the narrator in 1974. Found the book in a library and stole it. Oh, <gasps> thief. The book can be found in the house at the top of the hill, chapter 2. I believe the book was much liked by the narrator and his wife, which is why they visited the island in the past. He also had syphilis. That I do remember hearing. Uh, Jacobson. Jacobson was a man who moved the island around the time of Donnelly. He planned to build his house, raise animals. Okay, that's why we saw the stalls. I know, it's because this screen is really bright. I can turn down the... See, like, if I take... Hold on, where did it go? Um, see, if I take it away, it's not as bright. Hold on, I can turn it down. Down some more. Is that any better? That's a bit better. Lean back, go full. I think this is okay, right? Or is it still too bright? Oh, that's not what I wanted. I think this is fine right here. Because in full screen, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it looks pretty good in full screen. Um, lights off is best. Just taking my camera off. Uh, Paul is key to why... Oh, wait, wait. He planned to build his house, raise animals, and eventually have a family. That's why I think we saw the stalls, and I'm, I mentioned the stalls. He was not popular and died soon after he built the house, I believe. Jacobson is the same person. 
Paul is key to why we have ended up here, playing this game. As a narrator on the island, he is a sales executive who lived in Wolverhampton. He caused Esther's death, and here's why. The car accident. Not long ago, Esther and the narrator were traveling in the same car along the MS uh, between Exeter and Bristol. Paul is in the car, who loses control somewhere between the Stanford turnoff and the welcome break. So the crash is recent, last 10 to 15 years or so. Skids and crashes into the car carrying the narrator and Esther. Paul is first accused of being drunk behind the wheel. As alcohol is on his breath and he, as he had some drinks following a, s a sales conference in Exeter. He was traveling on his way back to Wolverhampton, but the narrator tells us later in the game that he was not drunk. We can only presume that he was not over the lim not over the limit, but whether his alcohol intake affected his driving in order to cause the crash is something the narrator considers. As early in the game, he accuses him of being drunk. So what caused the crash is not clear. Paul is in bad condition following the accident and has to be resuscitated. Uh, Esther is trapped in the car, presumed dead, as the car had to be cut to get her out. And it looked as though it was dropped from a greater height. The precise, the precise location of the accident remains... A debate, but the narrator does say it was somewhere between the Sanford Junction, Junction 21, and the Welcome Break Services. The final Junction motorway marked its present in the game, as is the turnoff sign, and the bridge across motorway, presumably the junction. Oh, wait. Uh, so the most popular thought location of the accident is here. Is that the city we saw? Interesting. Yes, this is the city we saw. Whoa. Okay. Um, also, the narrator talks talks of traffic backing up all the way to uh, Saltford, which makes this a viable location. However, the real location does not have uh, banks by the motorway like the game does, and the signage display, the turn off the junction is different in layout. We put this down the narrator being vague on the location when trying to recollect the events of the tragic day. But could not find it. Okay. The narrator meets Paul. After the accident, the narrator travels to meet Paul in his home in Wolverhampton. Paul at this time is dying in his own guilt and regret. The car accident has destroyed his life as much as the narrator's. But the narrator is not seeking an apology, but wanted to offer some... Uh, wanted to offer some no hard feelings towards the man tries to connect with Paul, but Paul is too nervous. It is obvious that the narrator wants to remove any bad scent between the two in order to get on with their lives, as the narrator wants to believe that alcohol did not cause Esther's death. It is not clear how or when Paul died, but certainly by the start of the game, Paul has died. Perhaps committed suicide with guilt, the narrator is saddened by this. Um, this is where the game... Uh, the game is set. An island in Outer Hebridus? I don't know if I said that right. Which can be seen from the mainland. As the narrator tells us, he can see the mainland. The narrator has gone here before. Perhaps he came here with Esther. But certainly has not been here in the past. Having been inspired by Donnelly's book about it. By the time of the game. By the time of the start of the game. He has been living here for a while. In the house where Jacobson lived. There are ghosts on the island, but to be honest, as there are five of them, I assume they are Esther, Paul, Donnelly, and Jacobson. And the, I knew it. That's what I was saying. I'm like, it's really creepy. And there's voices like, yeah, okay. Uh, and Jacobson as the other one, I can only think the other one is disfigured ghosts that could be involved in the accident. Do the comments below. We establish that Esther is pregnant. Fifth ghost involved in the accident, disfigured. Okay. So probably the baby. Um, the island story. I don't know if I care about the island story. Narrator's death. At the end, you are seen falling from the beacon, and then you turn into a gull and you fly off. It is at this point the narrator dies, and his soul 
so to speak, takes off like a gull and joins the other two, Esther and Paul, whose souls are represented by the two joining goals at the end. Um, Esther was, in fact, pregnant. So are the three goals, the narrator, Esther, and the unborn child, the seemingly more likely. Interesting. Okay, I definitely got hints of that as well. Makes the ending more sentimental or, if anything, brings a tear to your eye. So, yes, I believe that after all the narrator went through, he ends up committing suicide. That's what I thought. I'm like, no. Okay. All right. And you're right, Jules. Biblical references, which I don't really care about. The number 21 uh, crops up often in the story, to be honest. I have no idea. 21 starting at the age of life. Uh, 21 certainly has some reference as alcohol. Um, and the number of nodes on an anti-lock brake system. Coincidence that the two are referenced to each other, quite possibly. Awesome. Okay, I definitely picked up on hints of all of that stuff. So that was that was really cool. Very interesting and emotional game. That was that was quite the game. Quite the game. Hmm. That was a lot to take in. And I definitely hit on hints of her being pregnant but I was not sure um throughout like the story um and then especially seeing like the the eggs in um in the nest I was like yeah it was very I was very suspicious when I saw the the eggs in a nest and there was like three of them yeah crazy really cool game okay I am going to head out of here and go get food. I'm very, very hungry. Um, plans for next stream. Let's see. Today is Saturday, Sunday, so Monday. Monday will be our next stream. Um, let me pause this really quick. Monday will be our next stream. I'm not sure what I'll stream on Monday. I did get a beta key to New World, so maybe I'll play that. Um, I do have a bunch of other games that I would like to play. So... We will see. We will see. Um, let me close this out. Oh, yes. I will order the stickers since we all uh, we all voted on the, the sticker that you guys want. And every five subs, resubs count. I will do a sticker giveaway um, once I get them in. And I think that's it. I will see you guys on Monday. Oh, let me get this opened as well. Where is it? All right, cool. I've got it open. All right, see you guys. See you guys on Monday. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, probably hang around in Discord a bit. I do have a lot to do. Um, I do have a lot to do, so... I will pop in and out of Discord if you guys want to hang out there. But yeah, see you guys Monday. See you whenever. Oh no, Liger, that sounds so sad. But I know it's for the best. I know that you've you've gotten a new position and you're going to be even busier. But I do hope I, I still get to see you around. And it was good seeing you now. But I hope to see you on Monday as well. Have a good one, guys. Good night. Goodbye. Yes, you were here to see your name, AJ. <laughs> I was making chicken wings. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really, really appreciate it. I will see you Monday. AJ, thank you very much for the biddies. Mods, thank you. Subs, resubs, thank you. And follows. Bye, guys.